Hey guys, welcome to our apartment. It's been a while since I've showed you around and showed you some of the updates that we've made. It's been almost a year since I filmed an updated apartment tour and we have done so, so much since then. We also have had a baby since then. So a lot of our home design and decor have evolved a bit just to be a little bit more family friendly. So I'm excited to show you around. All right, so when you walk in, we have a dining room and it's kind of like an entryway and dining room together. And we actually just painted the dining room blue after like a year and a half of trying to decide what should the dining room color be? Because as you can see, like right here, you're in the living room. The dining room is, is central to the entire apartment. So I wanted it to be a color that we wouldn't get tired of. Um, and I really, really love how this turned out. I have a whole video of us um, when we first moved in, we did like a dining room makeover and I added the molding that you see. There's three like panels, I guess. And then also the corner details right here were just wooden and we painted them and added those with all of this in this room is added with um, double-sided mounting tape. So it is renter friendly. if you don't destroy your walls in the removal process and you just have to be like super careful with like how you take it off. But we did this in our last apartment in New York and it worked really, really well. We have recently added a high chair in this corner. I would not recommend lightly colored um, dining chairs because we, or especially with a large dog who tends to knock over your coffee cups because we've spilled coffee you can probably see the stains they're so noticeable but um, they're really comfortable so until i find a replacement this is what we're working with and the rug that i went with in here is a washable you can throw it in the washing machine um, it's two pieces so it has a mat underneath and this is just a layer that you can easily wash it's perfect for like underneath a high chair. On this side of the dining room, we have this, this is a credenza or a buffet, but we use it for shoes because we have so many shoes. We have specifically sneakers. I don't know why we have so many sneakers, but it's a problem. But I decided this is our shoe cabinet. It just makes sense for our home and for a while, shoes would just pile, pile, pile all along here. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna clean this out and just use it for shoes instead of dishes. So I'll show you where I keep a lot of our dishes. We need to clean that. But can you guess what's behind this? A phone where if we have like food deliveries, we just like have to pick up the phone. And that's about it for this corner. These are battery operated art lights. This shelf is like a long time favorite of mine. And it's not necessarily my style, it's very modern, but it is the most efficient, simple solution to an apartment because I mean, you, it's very minimal installation. It literally attaches twice up there and that's it. Um, and you can put like dishes, as you can see, we put a lot of dishes here, literally anything, tablecloths I keep in this basket. I will say that this arch is currently a work in progress. It was painted black entirely and then we painted this room recently. So I have to go back in and paint the edges of the arch. Um, I actually really dislike the glossy black. So I'm going to paint it a matte black, but yeah, normally it looks like that. Currently it is like that but we're going to fix that soon. Over in this corner, we have another piece of storage furniture. This cabinet holds all of our internet cables and candles. Um, it holds, it's kind of like a bar cart as well, it's this, but it's really nice to have because we need the extra storage space. And then I have some of my favorite flameless candles. I have to show you these because it's basically a tube of batteries that you stick in a tube of wax and you literally just go like boop, boop, boop. Another family friendly 
favorite of mine. These candles are the absolute best. I have them in pretty much every single room. They are safe and they are pretty inexpensive and just really easy to turn on and off. We have a sunken in living room. It has a little desk area over here. I'll show you what it looked like before, but we added some beadboard wallpaper, which we used previously in another apartment and um, it worked out okay. Like you can kind of see the seam right there. It wasn't the best installation process, but it's paintable. So that's fine. You can make it whatever color you want. We added these shelves, some brackets. These shelves are literally the most simple piece of wood. They're not the best like quality, but they're inexpensive. You can get them delivered from Home Depot and um, there's one by 10 inches. So we have a gallery wall surrounding our frame TV. Um, I'm considering getting a new frame for the TV, but I'm not quite sure which one. Really love how this wall turned out. I think I have a whole YouTube video talking about creating a gallery wall, so I will try to link that. In here we have this beautiful rug. It's very thin, but the colors are sage and blush. I just think it's the most beautiful rug. Um, although you definitely definitely need a rug pad if you're gonna go with this because it is super, super thin. So on this side of the living room, we installed a faux mantle. Well, it's a real mantle. It's a faux fireplace. Obviously it's literally just against the wall. Um, I'm actually about to do a project where I am going to add like a brick veneer um, panel back here and paint it black so that it looks a little bit more realistic and then we again added any kind of like wall molding that you see we added it um, with double-sided mounting tape we added it ourselves it's very simple once you get the hang of it and it just adds it literally just like makes a room um, we even added molding to our ceiling because I have a problem it just is so beautiful. I'm going to show you. It. it is not perfect because I haven't like caulked it at all. So you can kind of see the seams there, but um, it's so beautiful. The corner pieces came separately from the long like trim pieces, but I have a tutorial on Instagram, TikTok, you know, all of those. Um, and then as you can see up here, we had someone come convert this chandelier to be a plug-in light. Um, if you need a recommendation for someone, I know a guy who is so good at it, he's so smart, and you can see it literally goes all the way down, all the way down, all the way down to plug in right there. And that is how we have a ceiling light in a room that once was just a like blank ceiling. On this side of the living room, we have a dresser that we use for storage. Not your traditional use of a dresser, but I just think it looks so good with the record player and the old lamp. Um, I'm about to take down that wreath and figure out something to do for the holidays. I'm not quite sure yet. Last year we did like multiple wreaths in there, but I'm going for a little more simple, minimal vibe this year um, and then these chairs oh, love them so much they're from target and they're so comfortable they're they were a great price um i just think they're so pretty on this side of the mantle we have a little gallery wall this whole side of the room really is like a constant work in progress because we use this side of the room behind this really big couch is like storage baby toys just like any, there's so much stuff behind this couch. However, we did get a couch um, with a slip cover, which has been a game changer. Zip off all of these, like whenever we want, put them in the washing machine and they're clean. And it's been so nice since having Pearl and having Brooks. If you saw behind here, I'll show you what it looks like behind here. It's, it's a mess. You can also tell that since having a baby, I've had to, remove a lot of things off of our um, coffee table because all of these things will get slammed on the floor later today. <laughs> okay, so on this side of the couch, we have my computer. We also have this chest, which is really, really, really nice to have. Um, it holds all sorts of toys and like this TP thing, um, like a ball, you know, just, it, it's pretty deep too, so it holds a lot. 
but it's right now it's it's not organized but you know it's holding it's doing its job it's found this ottoman and really love it <laughs> so this is what the living room view looks like going into the dining room and still just really love that blue paint um i will be finishing that arch and i think that covers it for the living and dining room so next i will show you the kitchen and that is this way this is an add-on space to our actual kitchen which is a mess right now we started with just a refrigerator in a white empty room and we wanted to make the most of the space so we added a cabinet and then found a marble slab um, at a local like antique shop added that on top so it kind of is truly an extension of our kitchen um i keep like cooking ingredients up here uh knife set store my tea and sugar in here um added some seasonings right here and this um room is much more functional than when we first moved in um and we did have a different refrigerator it was the buildings and then this one is actually our refrigerator so the old refriger refrigerator went to um another unit in the apartment i wanted to be sure to fit a cabinet over here we added the same shelves in here that we did in the living room the same pieces of wood that we ordered from home depot the brackets off of etsy i'll make sure to link everything for you just to make it easy to find. This light is from a local flea market called the Grand Bazaar. If you're local, um, there's a guy who sells like re restored light fixtures every Sunday morning. They're so, so pretty, but that is where this one came from. Although I have seen a lot of similar styles on Etsy. Also wanted to point out that these are mini like magnets that I made and I just bought like peel and stick magnet squares. Well, that one fell off, but, um, and then I took the backing off of all of the frames. So like the little stand things, you can see that I like pulled it off with pliers and then I added magnets and they are so, so cute. So if you are looking for like a super simple way to personalize your refrigerator or your kitchen in general, um, they would also look good on the side of a refrigerator highly recommend. I'll link to all of the supplies that I used, but I think they just made this room so much more special. Okay, so in the bedroom, this bedding, it's like partial winter, partial fall. It's just a mixture of so many things. It doesn't really match right now, but that's okay. I wanted to show you um, the wall back here that we added wall molding and we also added the shelf at the top. Um, to kind of disguise the fact that a chunk of the wall really comes out a lot um, and it, it just looks a little strange. So we added a shelf to put art and um, just like various picture frames and I love how it came out. So we recently updated our um, headboard slash bed frame. Um, it is in this burgundy color. It's really pretty and um, it's the exact same headboard that we used to have, but that one we had for years and it eventually broke. So um, we needed a new one and I loved that one. So we just got the same one and different color. On each side of the bed are from um, like an antique Etsy seller. So they were like one of a kind, um, but I will link similar ones. So the bedroom is the brightest room of the whole apartment and I really um, love this room, but it gets very, very hot. So um, we added some dark linen curtains a long time ago and um, they're still up there. Probably gonna keep those up forever. They're just the most beautiful color. And we have some fall florals over here. So I'm thinking of doing the same uh, fireplace kind of like backing with the brick veneer panels behind there just to make it look a little bit more realistic. This is from Facebook Marketplace. It was such a lucky find. I wish I could like link the exact same one, but it was so unique and it was like $200. So it was such a good find. If you're looking for one, I would recommend 
searching fireplace surrounds on Facebook Marketplace like every day, just check um, in like a pretty wide like radius. We had to drive a ways to find this one. So this corner, it's kind of a mess, but some clothes, vanity. This is where I put my makeup and do my hair. Um, it's nice because it ha the desk has a an outlet so I can just plug in my hair tools into the desk. So because my latest video was the nursery tour, I'm going to leave the nursery out of this video and refer you to that video um, just so I don't sound like a complete broken record, but it's all there, a very in-depth tour. So that concludes this apartment tour and all of its updates since last time, but hopefully it gave you some ideas or two to do to your own apartment. Um, thank you again so much for watching this and thanks for subscribing and if you have any video requests for the holidays, please let me know in the comments and I will see you next time.